Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Eric Stidman. Well, good morning to you on this Thursday. A couple of weather issues out there this morning. A little bit of dense fog out there, as well as some heavier pockets of rain. So visibility this morning, not that great. Three miles in Terre Haute, quarter of a mile in Vincennes, one and a quarter in Robinson. On an ideal driving day where it's sunny and you can see the road, 10 miles is said to be the best visibility out there. So you can see this morning, not really a lot to see. So make sure you use your low beams in the fog and make sure you have the windshield wipers up and ready to go. Well, what we have here is a stationary front that has dug its heels in and it's kind of just hanging out over the Wabash Valley and it has dumped a lot of rain on us overnight, picking up a half inch at the airport in the last 24 hours. We've had just a little bit less than that here in Terre Haute and that will continue as we go through the afternoon. Well, here's Storm Tracker showing us the latest rainfall out there. We just kind of have this line from Olney all the way up through Rockville and it looks like Terre Haute's getting a break, but I just checked outside and we still do have a little bit of light rain falling. Now, the rain will taper off a little bit this morning, but then it will come back as we get into the noon hour, ultimately lasting through about 7 o'clock this evening, then finally pushing out of here. So temperatures out there this morning, we're off to a start in the 50s. 57 for Terre Haute, 57 for Rockville, 56 for Vincennes. But what's going to happen is as this rain moves out, we're going to bring in some colder air for the north from the north. So the temperatures will actually sink and with that colder air in here, they won't rebound a whole lot. So the high today isn't going to be as high as we've had the last couple of days. Well, here's Futurecast picking up at seven o'clock this morning and it tries to get rid of some of this rain by around eight, but you can see it quickly reemerges for the lunch hour. So if you're one of these folks that heads out for lunch, make sure you've got the rain gear ready for that. And as we get into the evening around seven o'clock tonight, we start to see some of that colder air move in from the north. A real fine gradient of showers still out there. Well, the forecast high today, only going to get up to about 58. So it's 57 right now. Ultimately, it's going to be a battle with this colder air and the rain today. So I'm going with 58, just a little warmer to the south. And lows tonight, it's going to be a return to February almost. Overnight lows dropping to 38 across the board. Well, here's 7 o'clock on Futurecast this evening, right where we left off. Put it back in motion into our Friday morning. And we see that clearing that happens overnight, allowing some colder air to sink. Also, the colder air blowing in from the north, which means temperatures will actually be quite brisk into the overnight hours. As we go through our Friday, though, Friday will be all right. I'm going with mostly sunny out there, and temperatures will rebound a little bit into the 60s. So Friday is looking to be the better day out of the next five or so. Just keep that in the back of your mind. As we get into Friday evening and into our Saturday, we start to see a little bit of rain develop out there. And then as we get into our Saturday afternoon and evening, we'll have some more rain. So and we're actually keeping our eye on this system as potentially bringing a thunder shower, some lightning, some thunder. It's still a little early, but we're keeping our eye on that to see exactly what that does. Also some rain in store for Sunday. So for today, 58 scattered showers this morning, this morning tapering off just a little bit, but then picking back up as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures not really rebounding like they have the last couple of days. The rain eventually tapers off tonight, dropping down to 38, and then tomorrow, an overall pleasant day, mostly sunny and a little warmer. Well, here is the seven-day forecast. 60% chance of rain at this point on Saturday with a high of 66. Temperatures warm up for the latter half of the seven-day forecast. 70 on Sunday, 70 on Monday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday look to be pretty nice days. Let's look at your seven-day forecast.